Good morning. Welcome to Vox Chat. I was going to say Slim Chat. That's next. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so, yeah, my swelling's gone down a fair bit. Um, I was massaging it. I remember they said to me that if that happens, just to kind of massage it down. So I've been doing that and it's gone down a bit. So that's good. The rest is just a bit fat, I think. I need to lose some weight. So that's going to happen now. Um, possibly not like straight away, but it's going to. I'm going to, once oh, Gary gets back to work, then um, I'm going to get on with that. So that's cool. Um, didn't do a great deal yesterday. So um, we ended up sitting on the decking in the sunshine. That's the second day on the trot and it was lovely. Um, just swaying there. Sorry, Linda, I know you get seasick. But um, it was um, it was lovely, just sitting out there. The weather was lovely, the view was lovely, and um, Gary was sitting out there with me, so that was nice. And uh, it was so peaceful. So that's a good way to convalesce, isn't it? That's really good. Um, we had our leftover dinner, and uh, boy, I felt so stuffed afterwards. And uh, it kind of dawned on me, really, that I hadn't eaten that kind of amount since I came out of hospital. And maybe I shouldn't, because it was really, I really felt quite stuffed. But it was mostly veggies. I did eat a lot of vegetables. And they can't be bad for you, can they? Anyway, I slept really well. I did wake up a couple of times and had a lot of stiffness when I woke up. But after a while, get moving and it's all, much, it's all better. I mean, it does hurt. It hurts to put weight on it. But it's nerve damage, so it will, unfortunately. And, you know, I think there is a little bit of improvement in this. Not massively, but it is, as I say, it's all the nerve damage and hopefully as time goes by and it heals, it might even improve more. The little exercise that she gave me to do with my tongue, I can't, I tried and tried to do it. I wash my hands and I try and stick my tongue out, but it kind of goes over there a little bit because of the scar tissue pulling it. And I can't grab that edge. It's not enough edge to grab anymore. So, um... That one, I'd like to be able to do it because I really want to massage that scar tissue from being a lump to being, you know, more pliable. I can't actually get hold of it. Where there's a will, there's a way, so I will keep looking into it and trying. Um, I did some crochet yesterday. Woohoo! <laughs> I finished the blanket, so I'm on the border. Um, and I've just done um, a, a bit of a white edge so far. And it's now, what am I going to do? Am I going to do a bit of colour or am I going to just edge it in the colour, do a bit of colour, then go back? So I'm kind of like in two minds um, and at a crossroads there where I need to sort of sort that out and get it done. So that would be good. When, and then I can do the swatch and get the tutorial done, which is cool. Um, Gary's brother Martin's coming over later on today. Um... And Gary asked him if he wanted something to eat. So he'll be on his own. Um, his other half's at work. So we're just going to have steak, I think, today. It'd be nice. And it'll be good to see him. Um, Mike and Gemma, the only ones that haven't been for dinner. So we've got, we've got to have them over for a roastie at some point. And then everyone's been. <laughs> it's all fair. It's all fair then. Um, well, even Jamie will be here soon because he's coming down. Um... Friday, I think he'll be here and staying for a few days, so that'd be nice. So bringing Chloe with him, she didn't come last time, but he was doing wet work, so um, so yeah, that'd be cool to see him. So yeah, that will be everybody that's eaten in our new kitchen once we get Mike and Gemma over. Tyler's loving his nursery. Oh, bless him, he's so small, but he's um, yesterday. At first they only went for an hour, they kind of just give them a little bit of a break coming gradually. And so he, he kind of went for an hour. First day Gemma was there, second day she left and apparently had the time of his life um, just playing. And he really enjoyed it. So he's, oh, he's going to nurseries. I thought it's weird thinking my little baby's going to nursery because he's the last... Last, well, yeah, the last one. We've got, we've got River, but she's a long way off a nurse. Well, she's not actually, but you know, obviously, they only can go to nursery at any time. And uh, 
I think you can get nursery places if you're working, so that, that'll be the only sort of time. But I mean school nursery, you know. The actual, at the school, going to nursery and then going to school. So, word of the day. There's another little slang word and it's ledge. Ledge. Um, because it's uh, short for legend. So if they say, oh, that one, that is a ledge. You're a ledge. I often get called a ledge by someone. I can't really remember who calls it me now, but somebody does. You're an absolute ledge, meaning legend. So if someone's giving you a compliment, that's what they might call you, a ledge. I know a ledge is one of those things you stand out on, like the window ledge. You see them films where people are always walking on window ledges. No one ever does it in reality though. So, joke of the day, oh, I am sorry. It is a real grown-up. Why did the boy throw the clock out the window to see time fly? That is a bad, 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 bad joke. I am sorry it's not me. I didn't write it. It's just in the book. See, I've got a disclaimer now, Madonna. When I have a bad joke, I've got a disclaimer. They're in the book. And then they'll be in the pack. Cool, eh? Absolutely. And I've got another little book, which I bought this ages ago. And it says, 100 Secret Thoughts cats have about humans and i bought this because i thought it might be fun so um i might start telling you some of these secret thoughts that cats have about humans which are quite in depth so <laughs> bit small writing i'll have to get a torch and my glasses to read them to you so that'd be fun um but i bought this ages ago for when they had the sale in the works we know when they were shutting that down did I buy this? I think I did. Might have Gary bought it for me. I think I bought this, actually. So some of them are quite long and some of them are very short. So I did, I did buy it and then I thought, maybe I'll get copyrighted by Celia Haddon <laughs> if I said it. So I kind of didn't. And then I thought, oh, you know what, to, be, to hell with it. They're not moaning at me, are they? <laughs> at Madeira Lodge and the like. But then again, to be fair, I don't think they really wrote those jokes. You know, they've been around donkey's years. Donkey's years is a saying that over here, that's another word of the day, donkey's years. I don't know why donkey's years should be thought of as a long, long time. Because is like one year for us, like 20 years for a donkey or something? I don't know. But donkey's years just means a heck of a long time. Many, many, many years, apparently. I would say dogs have the more years. Don't know for sure. Wouldn't it be interesting to know which animal has the longest amount of years for us in one year? I don't know how, maybe that's a, a question for Siri or Alexa. Just need to word it in a certain way. So yeah, my brain's working in mysterious ways, as you can see. I obviously slept well. <laughs> I notice my smile isn't so bonky. It isn't when I open my mouth, but when I first just smile, it's not. So I think there is some improvement there. God, I hope so. I hope so. But Gary said to me yesterday, it's not like you talk out the side of your mouth, is it? I went, yeah, it's a bit. <laughs> You're going, do a bit. So uh, he's not even noticing it. I think it's just me. I notice it more than... I think Mike notices it. He notices subtle differences very easily. So do I. But, um... Yeah, so what else have we got to tell you? Apart from the fact that I've been crocheting, which is great. I need to use some of this yarn. I've got so much yarn. And I have a 20% off for Deramores. And I don't know whether to make an order or not. Because, you know, I'm going to be selling yarn at some point soon. Ah, yeah, I emailed Chris and... Um, did I tell you this? I think I did. So, yeah, all systems go whenever I'm ready, which is brilliant. Um, I've got speech therapy on Monday. It's only like a video call. So that'll be weird. I've never done that. I've never done that. I've got, obviously, I've FaceTimed, but this is, I've got to set this thing up, a video call. But, yeah, be weird. Try and, and, and uh, you know, <laughs> I do this sort of stuff all the time. I think it'd be easy, but no. It's going to be strange for me. Like, like these Teams meetings and stuff like that. And I know a lot of you guys Zoom. Like, people have been Zooming over in the States longer than us because you had Zoom earlier. But I can remember 
uh, Granny D and lots of people talking about getting on somebody's Zoom and I've never tried for Zoom. During the lockdown, I did toy with the idea because my sister used to do Zoom calls with her kids. But um, I don't know, we never did do it. We never Zoom called. Um, I don't know. My sister has done a few things more than me now. And she's nine years older than I am. <laughs> so she's Zoomed and I've never Zoomed. And she went on a zip wire. Yeah, seriously. At Blue Water uh, Shopping Centre, they've now got a zip wire that goes over the Blue Water. And she did it. She flew. I didn't even do that in Vegas. I mean, I could have done above the strip. But the reason I didn't was because I was wearing a skirt that day. And I thought, oh, that's a bit dodgy. <laughs> Done a zip wire wearing a skirt or I think I had a skirt on a pair of shorts. So it was like, oh, I don't know, not really dressed for zip wires today. Probably a skirt. There was a real reason I didn't do it. I mean, the shorts would have been fine. But we didn't anyway. Yeah, it would have. <laughs> I don't know why we didn't do it. Probably because we're not daredevils, you know. But my sister has. And um, she thought it was brilliant. And this is England we're talking about, you know. Less to see. But yeah, quite gutsy for her really to do that. And she held a tarantula. Oh, she reckons she was scared of spiders. I'm sorry, but you know, there's not a chance in hell that I would ever hold my palm out and have a massive tarantula in my hand. It was a big, big, big tarantula too. It's my brother's. And it was the size of my hand, so I couldn't do it. There's not a way in, in any way... I could have done it. They would have had to have literally um, restrained me and made me sit there <laughs> somehow to do that because it just wouldn't happen. So I said, she could not be scared of spiders, not really, you know, to, to do that. I mean, there's not a chance. I'd have been in the same room if he'd been out of his terrarium thing because my brother used to keep them in terrariums. He said to me, do you want to hold it? I went, oh, God, no. I said, you know, apart from anything, I'd worry I would drop it because there's not a chance that I wouldn't do this, you know, or I couldn't, I was worried that I'd kill his pet because he'd have dropped his stamp on it. <laughs> he loved that thing. He hasn't got her anymore. I don't know why, but he said, oh, that picture my sister put up on Facebook a bit. Oh, she was lovely. I wish I still had her. So I don't know why he hasn't still got her, but, you know, not the, my brother, when we were kids, he was the sort of kid that would go out and get critters. And um, when we would be on the beach, he would go out and collect little sea snakes and lizards and slow worms and all kinds of things. And he'd keep them in a jar under the deck chair. And one day the jar fell over and there's all these like, little snakes on them. People screaming and running. But they, <laughs> they were just like nothing, little tiny bootlace things. Running like crazy, screaming their heads off. He was the only person I knew that found those, you know. Mike, when he was a kid, he used to go out and get slow worms and lizards and frogs and all the little critters that you could sort of see around, centipedes, millipedes. He was into that. He doesn't sort of, he never followed it through, but he was really into that as a kid. And I bought him like this little box with the, you could have breedy holes. And he was always bringing something home, putting it in there. He bought a snake home once, great big snake and even rent a kill couldn't identify this damn snake. It looked like a cross between an adder and something that's head was shaped like this. And um, we had to call them in the end because we didn't know what to do with it and it would die. So I found them, it was massive. It was in an old fish tank. And when they came, they thought, whoa. And it had all the markings of an adder, but not the shaped head. Head was shaped like a cobra. God knows what it was. Didn't bite any of us, thank goodness. But, um, yeah, they took it away. But he, he kind of grew out of that. <laughs> thank goodness. But we did have a few frogs and lizards without tails that he'd managed to find and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> Paul didn't do that, but he did, like, keep in, not salamanders, but axolotls and things like that. They both like their weird pets. Mike always wanted to have those really colourful shrimp that you can get. And I think at the moment they've got a terrapin, um, a little turtle. 
I've only got one, I think. When they were kids, we had two they used to smell. Because, you know, you have to really clean them out a lot. And their water's toxic. So it was forever trying to keep them clean. But um, we let them go in the end. There used to be a big pond that had loads of men. So we just let them free. It's the only way, <laughs> really. Anyway, I'm going to get off. I'm going to finish my blanket today, hopefully. Although we have got company at some point. But maybe if I can, I'll try and do it this evening. And then I'll get cracking on making swatches so that I can show you how to do it and do the tutorial. I was thinking of making a, another wrap, um, but I keep thinking of new stuff to do when I have stuff that I've already got to do. So anyway, <sighs> a bit annoying when your brain works quicker than your hands, you know. Anyway, I'm going to get off and upload this. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, everyone. Take care. And I'm going to try and do a live stream. I was going to try and do that today, but um, I'm not sure how long Martin will stay. But if I can, I'll do it today. And just watch out on my wall. And I will say that I'm going to go live shortly. If I can't do it today, it'll be tomorrow. But um, I'm hoping to do it this evening, early or today. Anyway, thanks for watching, as I said, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.